Okay, this is uh, June 9th. Uh, I'm calling it uh, Week, W-E-E-D Day, Weed Day, Wednesday. Weed Day, Wednesday, or Week, W-E-A-K Day, Wednesday, Week Day, Wednesday. So, uh, boob tube, you boob, tits and ass, say whatever the fuck you want. But then when a s- robotic, artificial intelligence, Siskel and Ebert, or uh, Rotten Tomatoes wants to view your content, other people bitch about it all the time, which I call passive-aggressive bitching because you're bitching outward to the universe on a platform, which is a portal, which then you are channeling and you are feeding the masses with whatever it is that you have in your brain, your intellect, which is called intellectual property, which is then taken and put into the artificial intelligence. And then it is used against you because the artificial intelligence grows smarter, taking all of this intelligence from all of the people on the planet from past, present, and future because we live in the past, okay? 2021 is really the past, i.e. the movie Back to the Future because people live in the future and they must come back to the past to bring us to the future, i.e. quantum leaping into the future where then in the spiritual community and the new agers have some kind of a higher intellect, let's say, and that they know that they could possibly be going to a newer and better place. So they think that they will be quantum leaped out of here, i.e. this earth into a new earth, i.e. we're in third grade 3D, keep your hands and feet to yourself, and are you smarter than a fifth grader, i.e. can we get to fifth grade 5D, where it's love and peace and harmony. But people don't want to graduate from 3D, third grade. And so they will do whatever it takes to keep and stay in 3D, third grade. And and that means backbiting, backstabbing, bitching, pissing, moaning, projecting, slandering, kicking, screaming, i.e. community standards on boob tube is that you can say whatever the fuck you want unless artificial intelligence has you on their radar to come and view your content. Okay, i.e. let's give her a shout out. A Cindy from Awakening Spirit Tarot uh, used a singing bowl and then they want to... Uh, monetize, demonetize her page and uh, give her a copyright strike because she used a singing bowl for frickin' 30 seconds. Other people are bitching about it too. Outwardly, okay, what that is is passive-aggressive communication. Passive-aggressive communication. So you cut off your comments, all right? Sharon, this Robin, Espy, is not fucking Karen. Sharon from Shaw Not Pure Spirit, who now I'm going to get into character assassination. Listen up, a transgender and LBGTQ and anybody else of color or any other sexual preference, culture, nation, and or country, cosmos, species, uh, transhuman, any other thing, uh, binary code. I'm talking to every label out there. I don't care what you label yourself with, what you identify, ID yourself with. Okay, labels, external labels. I do not care, all right? I am talking to everyone as a collective body. We are all one. No, we are not all one. We are all the same. No, we are not all the same. Okay? We do not have the same fingerprints. We do not have the same DNA. We do not have the same eye. We do not have the same souls. We do not have the same experiences. What we do have the same is birth. 
dying, birth, and dying, and what the fuck we do in between there, okay? So now, I posted about the chip being delivered from China. China, it comes from China. There will be war here in USA with China. There will be disease and destruction. Now, I said perception is deception. So what we think is one thing is really another. Now, if I can't speak about my experience with somebody who was a cross-dresser, and then that would mean he would be transforming his self into a, a transgender, which would then be he would be a male to a female person. Now, if I were to love everybody, which I loved him at the time, so then I'm like, is it really so bad if he's a cross dresser? Okay. Or, but then I start to think, well, is he screwing men? Does he want to be screwing just women? Well, so what would he be then if he turned himself into a woman, male to female, they call it MTF. Okay. And so then other people in the transgender community say other things and they castrate themselves. I put a video of a young man that castrated themselves in one of these videos. So I was learning more about it. There are lots of people on TV that are pretending to be women and they are not. And then there are men on TV that are pretending to be men that are not. That's fucked up. Okay, so if I'm heterosexual and I want to identify with androgyny because androgyny to me is truth, justice, and <clears throat> love, love for everybody, okay? Despite the fucked up circumstances in which you came out of, I eat your seed, okay? Some seeds are good, some seeds are bad, but some seeds are planted amongst a lot of a lot of bad seeds, okay? So all the road to hell is paved with good intention. So good intent does not mean shit, jack shit out there, spiritual community. If we have good intent, that's enough. No, that's not fucking enough. But what I'm going to say is this, is that when it, somebody wants to character assassinate somebody and create a video sharing this, Robin, ain't fucking Karen, and you just fucked yourself. But people, go ahead and w go watch the Shaw Shit uh, production on Shaw Sure Sher Sharon's Pure Shit Show, okay? She's a shit show. Let's see. The stupidness, the stupidness. The stupidness, the stupidness. Here's what I'm going to tell you is stupidness. It's a spiritual community. You're not saying shit I don't already know. So everybody on the planet Earth is speaking partial truths. Partial truths. Not the whole truth and nothing but the fucking truth. Partial truth and nothing but the fucking false truth, half truth. That's what the fuck you get here. Uh, not here, i.e. at my place at this little bear place, this little place, these cards I put out here for a fucking joke, okay? Because I'm sitting here watching, i.e. all the spiritual tarot community, tarot land, fucking backstab, hustle money, and all this other bullshit. And so then I'm here to tell you that I'm taking you all down. I don't give a fuck, okay? Every motherfucking one of you in the tarot card community is black magic. I don't give a shit. It's just like religion. I liked religion. Now I don't like religion. I like tarot cards. Now I fucking don't like tarot readers because you're all spiritual gossips. You're spiritual character assassination people. So then what you do is you verbally slander people, i.e. if I knew that, the, if I didn't know that the law was all fraud, I'd be suing your motherfucking asses because all I got is time. And why? Because I have a law degree. And why? Because I know the codes and structures and statutes and all the other bullshit governors, lawyers, and all their other fucking little games. So I take you down in a heartbeat. So that's what they call the Queen of Swords, is that I will come and slash you like the Reaper with words and with back up with research and real resources, i.e. the links that I put with music and sound and, and 
music, sound, and all the other ways of communication which I put up there, i.e. channeling. So really what you're doing is shuffling energy and you're fucking all black magic karmics. I don't give a fuck what label you say is this, that, or the third. What I'm about to say to the transgender community is that the government doesn't give a shit about you either because the end result is justice. Justice for all. I don't give a fuck what color you are. But now when you slander my name and then say I'm evil to the core, bitch, you on my hit list, okay? My verbal one, the esoteric one, you just kissed your ass goodbye. So now, yesterday I checked, 645 people kissing their ass goodbye. I'm, I'm not an ass kisser. And i.e., Jesus, Yeshua, you, Yahweh, who the fuck ever, don't give a shit, okay, is uh, not perfect, he is not perfect, and he is not on time. Divine timing, that's a bunch of bullshit. You're spiritually protected is only how strong your mind is intellectually, spiritually, physically, and every other which way. Your mind. So your mind can be a computer chip back to me waiting for a chip, and I'm dumber than a fifth grader, not smarter than a third grader, because I didn't keep my hands and feet to my fucking self when other people were playing mind fucking games games. Here's what the, the situation is. Your mind is like a chip and you can hold 680 megabytes, 680 million megabytes. Let me repeat that. 680 million megabytes your mind can contain and only you use less than 128 EVO. That's 32 megabytes of memory. Some people can't even hold that and most of it's garbage. So when you're shuffling your bitch ass card Sharon, Robin ain't fucking Karen. Now, can you hear me? I'm raising my voice. This raising my fucking voice. Okay, not this little petty bullshit baby boohoo. Oh, you spelt that wrong. Oh, why'd you use capitals? Oh, are you handicapped? Can you not see? Do you know? Oh, be kind. Oh, we love all love and light my ass. Okay, fake light love workers in the spiritual community hustling money while you're going on vacations buying Gucci this that the third you don't give a shit about the people that you fucking read for I love you my asshole okay it's entertaining the fuck all right just know this kindness is real all right and love is real and truth supersedes all that bullshit